Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. Today I'd like to show you how to replace a hidden aerator on a faucet. This is a bathroom sink faucet, and as you can see, it has a hidden aerator in there. To remove this, you're going to need a special key. Now the purpose of an aerator is to save water, so it's a good thing to have. However, over time, they can become clogged. So if you had poor water flow, maybe say like that, or, or worse, sometimes it doesn't even flow, there's a good chance that the aerator may be clogged. If you have old galvanized piping and the water was turned off for whatever reason, once that water is turned on, it can send a lot of like junk and get caught in the aerator. So to remove a hidden aerator like this, you're gonna need a key and you can buy a kit with a key like this at most home improvement big box stores. So to remove it, um, you can see it has teeth. The aerator has basically the same profile at the bottom here, and you just kind of get it in there. It's a little challenging doing it with one hand while holding a camera, but essentially, there we go. You get that, those teeth kind of locked in and then you just start turning if you don't have a sink stopper you might want to put something over your sink drain so it doesn't fall in so once you get it to the point where you can unscrew it by hand just unscrew it all the way and then at the very end you'll have to pull pull it out as you can see there's water that uh almost creates like a little bit of a vacuum. So you can see the threads there. This is the screen that, uh, this part right here, this screen or mesh, that is what can uh, become clogged. And so it will need to be cleaned or replaced. This one is very clean. There's a tiny little impurity there, but that's not gonna really stop much. But yes, uh, you can clean this or simply replace it with a new one. In fact, you should probably replace these things on a regular basis so they stay nice and clean and fresh. So to install it, you just simply reverse process. Let's get it as far as it can go by hand and then just simply tighten it down a bit with the key. You don't want to over tighten it. It's plastic, it can break. You just want it in there good enough to where it's not going to come out when you turn the water on or loosen over time to the point that it doesn't stay in. There we go. Voila. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button, would be much appreciated. We put videos out like this on a regular basis and they include simple repairs many homeowners can do. We also include just general knowledge about houses. So if you hit the subscribe button, you will be notified when a new video comes out, which is regularly. Have a great day and bye for now.